everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Hermione and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys some DIY home and room decor and it's budget friendly. Most of the items I got for this video are from Poundland which is like the British version of the dollar store. Everything is, you guessed it, one pound. <laughs> So using these items and then just a couple of regular DIY supplies, I'm going to show you guys how to make some very simple, very affordable room decor. Anyway, if you do like DIY and lifestyle videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First up, I'm going to show you how to make this big blanket tapestry, which makes a huge statement on a very plain wall. For this project, you will need a blanket, You'll need some wool, a copper pipe or a piece of dowel, some hot glue and scissors. This is the blanket I used, it's from Poundland and all I'm doing is going ahead and cutting off the tassels on both ends and replacing them with my own tassels. I used a CD case to make these so I started by wrapping my wool around the case. I did this about 40 times and snipped it off and then pulled it off the case so I had a big loop of wool like so. I then took a smaller piece of wool, pulled it through the loop and tied it in a knot and then using another piece I wrapped this around the center to make the tassel shape. You guys have seen me do this a few times and then I'm going ahead and cutting the excess off the ends and there you have it. You'll then need to add your copper pipe for support at the top of the blanket. I'm doing this by wrapping the blanket over the pipe and gluing it with a hot glue gun. And then on the other end of the blanket, I'm just folding over the hem to make it neat and gluing that in place. And then on that same hem, I'm going ahead and adding all of the tassels I made. An odd number is good for this. I think it looks much nicer. Then you can start in the middle and work your way out. And I'm just using glue to attach these. Finish by tying a piece of string around your copper pipe or dowel and then hang your tapestry on the wall and there you have it, a massive tapestry for a very small cost. Here's a fun and really cheap way to display your photos and your memories. This is a trellis from the garden section of Poundland that I have made into a photo display. So for this you'll need a trellis and you'll need some black spray paint, it's that simple. This is what my trellis looks like, these come in all different shapes and sizes and all I'm doing is going ahead and spray painting it black. Once it's dry, add a second coat if you need it and then go ahead and hang it up on your wall. You can use a command hook for this and this is what it looks like before adding anything to it. Then go ahead and use mini clothespins or thumbtacks to add your pictures and memories to your new photo board. And that's it. So simple. You can also add some lights like I did and I think this adds a really nice touch to the whole thing. Next up is a way to make a very boring mirror look much more modern and expensive. For this you will need a mirror. You'll also need some gold flecked ribbon, some paint, some Mod Podge and some tape. So this is the mirror, it came from Poundland and I'm just using some masking tape to tape off the area that I want to spray paint. I'm also using a piece of paper to cover the inside of the mirror too. Take it outside to spray paint it. I went for gold because my ribbon is gold. And then you can go ahead and peel off the masking tape, which is the best part by the way, and get rid of any smudges using a cloth and some water. And hey, there's me in the mirror, great. <laughs> All I'm doing here is adding some Mod Podge with a brush and then adding this beautiful gold flecked ribbon. I bought this in the florist actually, so look everywhere if you wanna find some cool craft supplies. And then once I added the ribbon, I went ahead and put more Mod Podge on top to seal it in place. I also made sure to snip the edges at a 45 degree angle so they fit together really nicely and there was no overlap. And then once you've let that dry for a little bit, you can also go ahead and snip off the excess ribbon. Once it's dry, it should look something like this and it just goes to show that you can find really interesting craft supplies anywhere. Next up is a really simple cushion tutorial because Poundland and lots of other discount stores do sell cushions but I just feel like they're not that great in terms of design and style and they're kind of soggy and floppy so I'm going to show you how I made this. For this you will need some pillows, you'll need some fabric and you will also need a needle and thread or a sewing machine. So these are the pillows I got, they're kind of flat so I'm using two for this project. 
I cut a piece of fabric twice the length of my pillows and one times the width of my pillow and I added one inch seam allowance to the entire thing so it folds over in half like so and covers the pillow. But I'm also adding the second pillow in there to make it really dense and very fluffy. So you can go ahead and do this too. It's gonna be a bit of a tight squeeze, but it will be a really, really nice firm pillow. Fold your fabric so it's right sides together and go ahead and sew down two of the open sides. You can do this by hand stitching like I'm showing you here, or I like to use my sewing machine because it's a lot faster, but you can do it either way. Once you're done, you can unfold your pillowcase, turn it around so it's got the right side facing out and stuff your two pillows inside of it. Then you're just gonna sew up the edges. So fold them over like so and tuck them really neatly. I'm going ahead and pinning these because I'm using a stripey fabric so I want the stripes to match up perfectly. So go ahead and pin them into place. And then once you've done that, pin them so both sides touch each other like this. Then you're ready to go ahead and sew both sides together so you're closing up the pillow. This is what the final result looks like. I'm really happy with this. It actually looks really expensive because of the choice of fabric, but the fabric wasn't that expensive. It was about two pounds. So go crazy and make tons of pillows for your room. They're really inexpensive. Here's a fun little hack that you can make for your bedroom and it will make a really nice little desk stand for any of your trinkets or things you have lying around your room. You'll need a plant stand and you'll also need a small round pan that fits in it. So this is a plant stand, it's from Poundland and also the small round pan is from Poundland as well. I spray painted mine completely black so it looked like less of a pan and also it would match the plant stand and then it's so simple all you have to do is pop it on top. You can glue this if you'd like but you don't have to because it stays perfectly fine on its own. Then go and add anything you'd like on your desk, any kind of trinkets or bits and bobs that you want to keep elevated or keep in a special place. That is everything for all of these DIYs. I hope you guys like them. They're very simple because like, there's not really much you can do with stuff from Poundland, but I don't know, I really like how they turned out. So let me know in the comments down below what the dollar store or pound store in your country is called because I'd love to know